What's up viewers and welcome to another episode of Cheese Reviews. Today is a special day because I get to unbox a brand new base. Alright, so this base here I ordered a couple of weeks ago. As I've said in previous videos, getting stock into Australia is a little bit hit and miss at the moment. So when I saw this one back in stock, I just had to snap it up. Alright, let's get started. It's always good to see when they have the fragile sticker on there. I'd like to think it means that they take care of it when it's in transit. Yep. <laughs> you know, the team at the Squire factory certainly put a lot of effort into packaging these up because I have to say, every time they come, they're always perfectly packaged. Yes. I'm liking this so far. I can feel strings. If you've watched, um, if you've watched any of my other unboxing videos, I always say the same thing, and it's these are really awkward to unbox, um, but for good reason too, because I think that the quality of packaging that they put in is the reason why it's awkward, but at the end of the day, it's protecting the base, so I'm okay with it. <laughs> so are there any guesses as to what this is yet? Oh, look at this. I feel like that's the kind of thing they'll use on the mission to the moon. So, comes with a couple of Allen keys. Some instructions, which appears to be just a bit of a welcome pack. And without reading it too much, it's even got guitar um, measurements on here, so it's pretty cool. Might keep this space bag for something. It's always a bit of fun. Oh, there's a little bit popping out here. Alright, I'm taking final guesses. What do you think it is? Yes! Oh, oh. oh, yeah. Alright, check it out everybody. This is a Squire Paranormal Jazz Bass 54, which is a really cool but strange combination between the jazz bass pickup configuration that we all know and love with the 54 precision bass body and styling along with these really cool concentric controls. I can't wait to plug this in and see how she sounds. Yeah, first impression out of the box, it looks really cool. Um, it looks to be really well made, like there's a beautiful finish on the neck and the body. The neck pocket seems quite tight, so that's always a really good sign. Surprisingly enough, it's quite heavy, especially uh, in comparison to some of the classic vibe stuff, which is generally pretty lightweight. One thing that is worth noting is that this Squire comes out of their factory in China, as opposed to the classic vibe series, which comes out of their factory in Indonesia. Really keen to see if there's any key differences that I pick up on when I do the review. Yeah, you can tell they didn't tune this up before putting it in the box. It's kind of got that really slinky, new metal style bass string. So there you have it guys, overall a really cool bass. I can't wait to tune it up and plug it in and see how it sounds. Make sure you stick around next week to see the review on this bass. And if you liked today's video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more bass related content, smash that subscribe button down below. If you liked any of the music from today's episode, make sure to check out my other page, Maybe Sitter. I'll put some links in the description down below. But until next week, take care. And I'll see you next time.